Sources telling ABC News, the FBI, as well as the Department of Homeland Security are investigating this incident. So right now, here's what we know. The U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency say there are no indications of malicious activity. AT&T customers were not the only ones having difficulty making phone calls. Verizon, T-Mobile users also faced difficulties when calling those affected by the outages. And Broadway, a place where tourists and locals, of course, frequent with their phone in hand. Today, it was packed with people navigating their day without even cell service. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry spoke with many who say it's a flashback to the days of landlines and paper maps. It took us back to the dark ages. I did not like it. AT&T's 5G network reaches 290 million people across the United States, according to their website. But today, many customers were left in the dark. My family in Africa, they called me on WhatsApp, so they caught me on Wi-Fi this morning. But if I had been out the house, they wouldn't have caught me. So then I got two other businesses. I made those calls on WhatsApp and on Messenger. So it's like literally like I can't I can't reach anybody without Wi-Fi right now. The AT&T outage started early this morning. 32,000 customers self-reported a loss in service around 4 a.m. Eastern time. That number increased to 74,000 around 8 a.m. according to tracking site Down Dector. One of the 74,000 customers impacted was a mother visiting Nashville with her kids back in Ohio. Luckily, she had a friend with a Verizon provider. And I said, is your phone working? And she said, yes. And so I said, can I reach out to my kids because I, you know, I'm like out on an island here, can't communicate with anybody. <laughs> but the outage provided some people an opportunity to get creative. We were looking for the Ryman and uh, normally I pull my phone out to uh, look it up. And uh, Jim found a map on the side of the road and we actually found it that way. While others say it is a reminder of the good old days and what we often take for granted. I remember the phone on the wall and you would call directory assistance and an, a really nice operator would help you out. It was great, you yeah. know. I mean, honestly, we used Waze the whole way down here and, and I was sitting in the back seat not paying attention and usually I would pay attention, but I'm like, ah, we got Waze. If, we, if this hadn't come up or their phones weren't working, working we'd have to go buy a map. <laughs> In a statement, AT&T says, quote, we have restored wireless service to all our affected customers. We sincerely apologize to them. Keeping our customers connected remains our top priority, and we are taking steps to ensure our customers do not experience this again in the future. Mark? We're going to be talking about this for a long time, so we want to know, do you have a landline phone still in your home, yes or no? So at last check, we got some numbers for you. 38% saying yes, they do still have a landline in their home, but 62% of you don't anymore. It's gone. You can vote right now at WKRN.com. All right, we're going to continue to monitor this cellular outage and have more on its impact coming up on News 2 at 5 as well.